Good day and welcome to Health Tech Weekly, the show on technology that helps create a healthier you. I'm your host, Jamie Davis, the pod medic. Before we get into this week's health tech item, make sure you head over to our site at htweekly.com for links to everything covered in this episode. Contact information's available there and a whole lot more, so follow up. This week in health tech, I wanted to feature a story that underlines the purpose of this program as well as what is, I believe, the underlying purpose of the health technology industry, to improve the health and lives of individuals in fundamental ways. This week we feature the Leveraged Freedom Chair, a project from a member of MIT's health engineering team to bring a cost-effective solution to a need for a multi-terrain wheelchair design. You know, in many parts of the world, individuals who need wheelchairs are under, unable to use the standard designs we know of here in the United States to navigate the difficult terrain in their daily lives. Amos Winter from MIT sought to solve this problem through simple technology and engineering design. The design uses a variable length lever to vary the torque and range of movement based on the amount of work needed to traverse various types of terrain. What he developed was an all-terrain wheelchair that is powered by levers mounted on a bicycle-style assembly that allows easier and faster transport over all types of terrain. It's basically an, an amazing device. The cost was kept under $200, although they are making a high-end prototype for here in the U.S. and the rest of the developed world. The design went through several iterations as it was tested with end users in Africa, India, and Central America. The wheelchair is lightweight, sized to fit indoors or out, and is repairable using local resources as technology. So think about it, everywhere has a bike shop, and the materials like sprockets and chains are produced everywhere in the world. Now while you might think that this is a low-tech device to be featured on a health technology program like this, it exemplifies what health technology should do. Whether low-tech or high-tech, a device must meet a fundamental need and improve healthcare in ways that can be easily used by the average patient. I won't always be focusing on third world solutions like the leveraged freedom chair, but I think it's a great example of how fundamentally simple health improving technology can be. And that is what Health Tech Weekly will be all about. That will wrap up this episode of Health Tech Weekly. Make sure you follow up over at our website, htweekly.com, for more information on this and all of our episodes. There are additional resource links, links to trusted resources for living a healthier lifestyle, and a whole lot more. If you have a comment on this week's episode, you can get back in touch with me either over at the HT Weekly site at htweekly.com in the comment links for a page, or shoot me an email to podmedic at mac.com. I'd love to hear from you, and I will get back to you. I'm your host, Jamie Davis, the Podmedic. I'll be back soon with more health technology for you. In the meantime, remember that improving health takes small, simple steps that over time all add up to a healthier you. Why don't you take a healthier step today?